today France, tomorrow Ireland. You know, look at what's happening in France at the moment. You know, the, our government in Ireland, and, I, and I, I reluctantly call them that because they're controlled by Europe, they're controlled by the unelected officials in Europe who are hell-bent on creating a European super state. And in order to do that, they need to bring millions of more people into the equation, into these countries. And we think in terms of borders, there are no borders. These people, and you know, who wouldn't want a better life, but at what cost to the host nation? You know, Ireland has managed to stay Irish for a very, very long time. My mother is from Dublin, and I've seen over the years how the the brakes have been taken off and how these posh lads go on to become um, politicians. They learn in college that people equals wealth. The more people, the more money. So what we're really seeing here is an influx of new consumers. And for every consumer, whether they're working, whether they're on the dole, they will spend the money they get here in the country. They add, they do the jobs the Irish don't want to do anymore or can't do anymore. So our politicians in this country, the damage that they've done to this country in the last three years alone, you know, we look at America and you see them, oh, they're coming over the borders, they're coming. No, no, they're being invited. The same way that the people who are arriving here are being invited. And they're being offered a better life. They're being offered medical cards. They're being offered accommodation, homes. Um, they are doing what most people who are not well off would do. And they're taking up the offer of our government to come to Ireland and become the new population of Ireland. As far as I can see, we have a situation now where all of the major political parties are on board with this. You know, the, the Irish government are currently being fined 20,000 euros for every refugee they refuse to take. Think about that. 20,000 euros for every refugee they refuse to take. So who's running the country? It's certainly not these clowns in suits. They are taking their orders from Brussels, as they did throughout the supposed pandemic, as they have done for since since the European Union has been formed. And we have lost fishing rights. We've been losing farming rights. They're telling people you can't go to the bog. You can't cut turf. Who the hell are these people? Nobody elected them. And nobody certainly gave them jurisdiction over the governments of Europe, but that seems to be what they have bought. And I use the word bought because there's no other way to explain this. You know, these politicians will head off to their job in Brussels, to their nice bank chairmanship job in a couple of years' time, and to hell with what they've done to the country, to hell with destroying the culture and destroying the fabric of Ireland and making it a dangerous place to be. We have only seen the tip of the iceberg because when you import the third world, you import the third world's problems.